Next, we'll be jumping away from the public health employment pathways and more towards biotechnology. Biotechnology is a, a large industry within the US and certainly has a lot of employment pathways available. We'll cover the employment pathways in biotechnology through segments. So I'll cover research and development here all together. And these are the several roles that go into the research and development of different biotechnology products. First, we'll start with data management and analysis. These roles include the biostatistician and clinical data managers. Then there's folks who work on the clinical trial execution side to really test to see if a drug or a product is clinically effective. So there's clinical research associates, there's clinical research coordinators, research scientists, and trial managers. Then there's folks who work more on the safety and quality side, where roles might include clinical trial monitor and then pharmacovigilance associates. And lastly, even on the research and development side, there's folks who work on the regulatory affairs side of things because the safety and quality needs to be reported up to the FDA and there needs to be a lot of clarity and communication back and forth with the agency. The licensing and education requirements for these roles certainly varies, but typically includes a bachelor's or a master's level education in science, medicine, statistics, or a related healthcare field. Oftentimes, especially the further people go on the clinical research side, oftentimes PhDs become more and more common. Some skills involved with these roles include project management and patient interaction, data collection, monitoring, and analysis skills, as well as knowledge of clinical medicine for tracking drug safety and quality. Potential employers include pharmaceutical, biotechnology, medical device, clinical research organizations, academic institutions, and universities, as well as hospitals and other healthcare industries. And lastly, I have here a helpful link to learn more about clinical research roles. One role that we'll highlight here is that of a clinical research coordinator. These folks, they manage clinical trials to test drugs for effectiveness and safety. They organize and perform medical research. They work closely with principal investigators and ensure that all research trials follow ethical guidelines. Typically, the barriers to entry for this role are lower than perhaps for some other fields. And we've seen a lot of folks who are international health providers of some sort go into this role. Licensing and education includes having a high school diploma, as well as a bachelor's of science, where there's a focus in health science, biological science, life science research, or something similar. Some of the skills involved include reviewing protocols, reporting and preparing budgets, and these folks work closely with the rest of the clinical trial team to make sure that things go smoothly and that patients are well taken care of as well. Potential employers include healthcare facilities, government research institutions, pharmaceutical companies, and university departments. Next, we'll jump to this next large bucket from research and development over to product commercialization. And this is really the process of bringing a new product to the market so that patients have access to it. Some job titles here include being a sales representative or manager, marketing and communications associate or manager, market access and regulatory managers, and strategy and business development and account managers. I can briefly go over the different job descriptions for these different titles. Sales is self-explanatory. They focus on making sure that the product gets out to the market. The marketing communication folks, they make sure that everyone using the product is well aware of it, as well as patients who are receiving the product, that the patients have uh, knowledge of what they're getting. Market access and regulatory managers make sure that a product is able to get to the market and have access to being shipped in a different country. They often work with the FDA as the regulatory authority. And then there's business development strategy where they really focus on how do we expand the uptake of a certain product so that more patients are able to access it and use the drug. The licensing and education for these folks includes a bachelor's or master's level education in business, science, medicine, statistics, or related healthcare field. Some of the skills include project management and patient interaction, data collection, monitoring, and analysis, and knowledge of clinical medicine for tracking drug safety and quality. Potential employers include pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and medical device companies. One specific type of commercialization role that we'll highlight here is the role of the medical science liaison, or MSL. They can go by different titles, as listed here, medical managers, regional scientific managers, and so on, but they all roughly do the same thing, which is that MSLs are field representatives for their employers that use specialized knowledge of a therapeutic area or a disease area to engage other stakeholders. 
They can inform providers about drug use and side effects, work with researchers on the cutting edge side of research to understand the data, pharmaceutical companies to make sure that they're able to practice within ethical bounds. And they also work with thought leaders and key opinion leaders, not only understanding and relaying the information about a specific disease area or therapeutic area, but also being able to advise on future treatments. So the role here is really quite interesting, quite expansive, and they have very specialized training. Typically, these folks have a terminal degree, a medical degree or a PhD, or they may be advanced nurses who have specialized knowledge of a disease or therapeutic area. The professional certification programs certainly increase your likelihoods for employability, but uh, may not be essential in all cases. Some of the skills that these folks have, that they have a very deep level of expertise in a specific disease or therapeutic area from extensive lab research or clinical practice. They also have excellent communication skills to engage other stakeholders to bring everyone along and ensure that patients are able to get the drug safely and they're able to use it safely so that they are able to get the best benefit of cutting edge technology. Potential employers include pharmaceutical companies, biotechnology companies, medical device firms, clinical research organizations, and other healthcare industries. And here below is a helpful link as well to learn more about what an MSL does. Another one that we're gonna highlight here is that of a medical director within biotechnology companies. These folks, they oversee clinical trial development in terms of protocol development, including phase one through four studies across therapeutic areas. They review safety and effectiveness data, and they review regulatory submissions to get products approved. And these submissions are typically to the FDA, but folks can be working internationally with different government agencies across the world. The licensing and education required for this role includes a medical degree with a minimum of five years of industry experience. So certainly something that takes a longer time to achieve, but it could be a potential goal for folks who are interested in going in this direction. Some of the skills here include the ability to design and develop clinical plans and protocols and understanding pharmaceutical drug development. Potential employers include pharmaceutical and biomedical device companies. Lastly, within the segment of biotechnology, we're gonna highlight the role of a consultant. There are life sciences consultants and healthcare consultants, certainly not an expansive list, there are many more, but these folks are really able to jump from company to company and project to project to be able to support the overall development of a biomedical technology from start to finish. The job description for these folks includes helping healthcare related organizations run businesses effectively. They use research to develop solutions to complex business problems, and they monitor results and change processes to improve outcomes. The licensing and education for these folks includes a bachelor's degree, and then master's degrees and medical degrees are optional. And they are certainly helpful to be able to bring in knowledge, especially that of medicine and clinical works, over to the business side. Some of the skills for these folks include strong communication and presentation skills. They must understand healthcare policies. They must be able to conduct research in small teams at a rapid pace, and they should have a decent understanding and comfort with working with financial data. Potential employers include management consulting firms, or it could be in-house. So be employed by the hospital system or physician group, a healthcare organization, even federal and state government agencies, and health insurance and pharmaceutical companies.